powerful image. This is my brain on a cell phone. Okay, So if you can see there, there's a baseball size tumor and right here, right exactly where the antenna goes um, and went for 20 years. So if anyone has any doubt, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you'll get one of these if you put a cell phone up to your brain long enough. It's just that simple. That's what I'm learning here. Um, and I was an early adopter of cell phones because I was in commercial real estate and I started in 1988 right when they came out and I was real proud of the fact that I had a cell phone and and didn't realize I was actually a guinea pig as well as the rest of society is right now and I didn't sign a, a, an acknowledgement of that nor has anyone else who's used a cell phone that we're all guinea pigs basically in society and this is probably the biggest human, ex well it is the biggest human experiment in the history of the world because, it, because it's never been possible to have so many people all doing the same thing across the globe. And I want to show you some of the newer data. In 2013, Leonard Hardell of Orebro, Sweden, a really widely respected physician epidemiologist, confirmed that brain cancer risk is greatest for those who started to use cell phones before age 20. They have a four to eight fold increased risk of malignant brain cancer within 10 years if they start to use a cell phone as teenagers. Basically, I think it's my moral and ethical duty to inform other people who are not in the know on this issue, as I wasn't for 20 years.